body again and it, it makes a change to have a good laugh and although it was bitterly cold when we were filming that I mean we were still having a laugh. Why is it that whenever you have to wear all the sort of summery stuff it's freezing cold out? I know it's scheduling unfortunately though you see underneath those light clothes you've got about three sets of thermal underwear on so it makes you look a bit bigger than you are really. We've got lots of questions lots of calls let's start off with the with the phones Wendy and see who's on line one who's there? Mark Fell. Mark, what's your question? Um, did you have to do a lot of research when Mark said he was HIV positive? Oh yes, um, yes that they did and uh, so did Todd, he went into it very carefully and we had lots of leaflets to read uh, so we could uh, explain to everybody, although we're acting and it's in the script, you have to put across the message and make sure people understand exactly what's what. Did you talk to any other mothers? No, I didn't who are HIV actually. Positive? I didn't, but I, I do know I have friends who are HIV positive. Yes. Thanks for that question. Thank Mark. you, Mark. Let's go to a question from Marco now. Marco, who's sitting right next to me. Hello. Do you approve of people who eat frog, frog's legs? No, I don't. And for those few people left that don't know, I'm actually a frogophile. I collect frogs. I've got over 2,000. Um, one of my closest friends is French, and I remember once being in a restaurant with her and she ordered frog's legs, and I was absolutely distraught. But no, I, I don't care for people eating frog's legs. Have you forgiven her yet? Yes, just. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go back to the phones now, Wendy. Who's on line two? Emma Matthews. Emma, what's your question? Are you anything like the character Pauline? Um, I'm like the caring, friendly, kind side of Don't Pauline. Don't believe a word of it. <laughs> uh, no, I am, well, I suppose I must be a bit like Pauline, because there's a lot of me in Pauline. Only the nice bits, though, I think. I mean, you, you have been called the most miserable person on telly, haven't you? I've been voted the most miserable face on telly, yes. I was uh, <laughs> rather upset about that, but never mind. I do smile occasionally putting it all right this morning you see thanks for that question thank you um, Michelle has a question now Michelle is down at the very end and she has asked me to ask you would you like to make another record ever because you've actually made a couple haven't you yes yes I've got to yes. find out about well, one I might I might yes you made you know you made you made one which we're going to talk about or not talk about a little bit later on yes back in 1962 then weren't you involved in another record <laughs> oh yes um, Mike Berry who played Mr Spooner in Are You Being Served he and I did a, a copy um, a version of uh, Come Outside uh, where we reversed the roles you know I was saying to him to come outside yes, yes. but would you like to make another one now um, only if they used all those fancy gadgets and things in the recording where they make they do with some people and make you sound as though you can sing when you can't oh, really. Any particular band? Yes, we're going to do a bit of that next time you speak. I heard a bit of echo creep in oh, there. Sorry. That's probably Joe or Alan upstairs helping us out. Thanks, guys. Any particular band you'd like to make a record with? Well, I have got a thing about status quo. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yes. Um, I think I like uh, Francis Rossi, I think he's really dishy and I met him a few weeks ago when uh, they were doing Top of the Pops at Elstree and I'd been out to do my shopping and the security bloke said, um, you know, about status quo being in the studio. So I rushed in with my Tesco bags and everything, you know, and um, <laughs> sort of being a real uh, groupie or fan or whatever, you know, but he was terribly nice to me, absolutely charming. Very and they've nice. said yes, have they? No, they haven't said yes, but he gave me a signed record. I was absolutely thrilled to bits. Yeah, absolutely. Well, if uh, any of the guys are watching from Status Quo, we know you're big fans. We know <laughs> you're big fans. Please, would you ring in and let us know, because Wendy's here waiting. Francis says he likes EastEnders. He says he likes the Bill and EastEnders are his favourites. Well, there you go. It's like getting two interviews for the price of one here. And who knows, Wendy, you may have yet another job to do now. <laughs> Please, guys, ring in. Let us know if you'd like to uh, use Wendy on your, vi on your next video, perhaps. Great idea. Now, um, Oliver. Oliver, where's Oliver? Right here. Other than cardigans, do you like the clothes Pauline wears? Yes, I do. Actually, I quite like her cardigans. I've got some cardigans of my own in real life. Um, no, I think, I think they're jolly good. They're very handy too. Keep you warm when you have to go walking about that square. Albert Square is always cold any time of the year. Drafty old square. It is. Keep the drafts at bay with a nice cardi. Let's go back to the phones and see who's there. Who's on line three? Kathy Goddard from Moncon. Kathy, what's your question? 
Um, what's the most difficult part you've played? Um, I, I suppose um, Pauline, in a way, you know, when we first started, and there was quite some dramatic stuff at, at the uh, beginning of the whole series, the way the storylines were and everything. But uh, after seven years, I feel as though I know Pauline quite well, so it's, be it's becoming not quite so difficult. Thanks a lot for that question. Let's go to Colin now, who's got the stripy green on here. When you film a depressing scene on EastEnders, do you go home and does it pass? Well, it's, it does bring you down. I, I do get uh, a bit depressed and I know Bill, who plays Arthur, when Arthur was having his breakdown, it uh, depressed him terribly, you know, it brought him down a lot. But then after a while, when you're at home, I try not to take my work home, you see, because it's not fair on my husband, otherwise it makes him miserable as well. Does he tell you if that's happening? Yes. <laughs> well, that's useful, isn't it? Yes. That's useful. Yes. Wendy, you've got some great prizes down there. I have. I have. And, uh, and I know you've got a question. Let's look at the prizes first of all. What have you got? Well, we've got an EastEnders game. We've got an EastEnders mug. We've got a book on EastEnders. And... Best of all... Best of all... Paul, you see, Pauline's only got two hats and scarves, and this is one of them. And there's the scarf, the matching scarf. <coughs> And Sue Tally, who plays Michelle, Michelle gave this hat and scarf to Pauline about two or three years ago in EastEnders. And I went to Sue Tally on Wednesday and I said, do you mind if I give away your hat and scarf? And she went into one. But I've calmed her down <laughs> and she's very kindly agreed. I think she's still a bit sulky with me, though, that I can give these away this morning. She was hoping to have it back off you, was she? Probably, yes. She was. Yes. So what are you going to do now, though? You've only got the one. Now I've only got the one, that wonderful purple number. Yes. I can't part with it. I shall have to keep it, and perhaps next winter uh, might go mad and buy Pauline another hat and scarf. Well, don't But go I'm mad. going to sacrifice this one. Thank you very much, all for us. So what's the question? Well, the question is, that record come outside, the original one that was made in 1962 when I was very young, that three, three, weren't you? What, three, three years three, old yes. at the time. Who was it that I made the record with? What's his name? <coughs> right. A tricky question, but a great prize. Thank you very much for coming Thank in this you. morning, Wendy. Best of luck with everything. Thanks. And uh, we'll keep you posted about status quo. Yes, All please right? do. Yes. So get your answer to that question, please, on a postcard to Going Live, PO Box 8181, London, W12 7 S E. Coming soon to BBC TV, West Enders, a new 